G'day, I'm Dave Graham. There's been a lot of talk recently about surrogacy and its effect on families in especially Queensland. So I thought who better to ask than the mother and fathers of little baby Huxley and Elijah. I caught up with them in Brisbane today and this is their stories. So Michael, this little chumbawamba here is, is Huxley he and is. you're his dad? Yeah, I'm one of his one of his dads. So it's been a wonderful sort of ten months. <gasps> oh, <laughs> and we just we just had a spew, didn't we? And how is that to be part of a family with two dads? Um, it's all we know. Um, it's been an interesting process. Yeah. Um, it's one I wouldn't swap for the world. We got exactly what we wanted, um, which is you know two healthy beautiful bouncing babies so yeah it's been wonderful and you know you hear in society so much the argument against this exact situation which to me looks completely normal is that there isn't a mother and a father there isn't that female influence on the child do you feel that your relationship gives your two children what it is that they need to grow up um, kids will grow up and they will find what fills the gap for them. We've got both sets of grandmothers, we've got aunties, we've got, they've both got two godmothers each. Um, I don't think they want for anything. They've got a stable, loving family, mm -hmm. um, which in the end is all anyone can hope for. So um, you hear people say what a family is and what a family should constitute, and a family is love, and it's, it's whoever's around. Mm -hmm. um, it does take a village to raise a family. Mm -hmm. And that's really in your case is there's a lot of people getting involved. <laughs> we have to knock people back for, for visits. Um, yeah. They are loved little boys and uh, it's just been fantastic. The, the, the love and, and the, the friendship and support that we have from friends, family, relatives. Um, it's been wonderful. And so what would you say to those people that say that what you are right here, you and your partner and your two children mm. is wrong? It's against God's law, it's against society. Yep. What do you say to them? What can you say to them? Sit down and meet with us, talk with us. Um, you'll quickly find out we're the same as anyone else. We've, you know, the rigours of raising children isn't easy. No one enters into this lightly. Um, you get spewed on. You, you get, you, you know, you have sleepless nights. But it's the love you get back from them. Yeah. Um, it's, it's incredible. And um, if, if only those people could uh, shake the fear and sit down with us and meet with us, they would see that we're just like anyone else. Yeah. So there was a, a member of parliament, um, the member for Condamine here in Queensland, who, who insinuated that perhaps gay parents would just want a child as a pet, as a status symbol. Uh, tell me, is this a status symbol? Is this <laughs> like having a pet? No, we've, we've got a cat and we've got a dog. Um, these guys are so... It, it's offensive that you could you could draw that line. Um, just these guys are wanted. We, we we planned for these guys for three years before we met our, our wonderful surrogate. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a snap decision. It's not something into which you enter lightly. Mm. With the amount of planning and and the finances and everything that you had to have in place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's, oh, it's straight in the mouth. Straight in the mouth. That's probably not a good thing to eat, buddy. <laughs> um, oh, he's very cute. We'll quickly find out he's teething. Yeah, he is teething. He is. Um, <laughs> no, these, these guys aren't pets. These are these are our family, and um, all the member for Condom needs to do is is see us and read about us. And the more that we go out there and put ourselves out there, the more that they can't deny that we are around. We are your neighbours, your friends. You know, we are members of society and we deserve equal treatment under the law just like anyone and else. What is that like when, when you see parliamentarians standing up saying things that are offensive like that but actually have the ability to change laws, mm. which change the legal relationship that you have? Obviously nothing's going to change the bond that you clearly have within your own family, within mm. your own community. What is it like to know that other people can tell you how it is that you can be treated with your children? It's, it's beyond frustrating. It's... Um, it's hurtful. We're not dangerous. We're not. Oh, they they want to make us lawbreakers. Um, 
everyone deserves the right to have a family to, to feel like this to if, if they want um, I can't imagine having this right taken away from us and in fact criminalized that in itself is criminal and to have 89 people who are supposed to represent you and, and your community have such divergent views from you is um, disheartening and deflating mm -hmm. and so obviously back to your family how, how have they how have they reacted I mean wider than this gorgeous little thing here your your parents and um, your partner's parents yeah. how have they all all taken to these new additions to the mob how can you not love them <laughs> um, we, we didn't tell our families for the three years leading up to it that we were doing this we yeah. wanted it just to, you know, to get to the 12 week mark and then tell everyone and we did wow. and it was only another sort of 15 weeks after that these boys came along so everyone got used to it really quickly um, and was there any negativity? Was there anyone saying, well, maybe, hey, there's not a, not a female influence in the relationship, this child will miss out? No, it wasn't. It was, it was you know, are you ready for it? That, that, was, that was people's concern. It wasn't that there was gonna, not going to be a female about it. It was, you know, do you know what this entails? It's not yeah. easy. And yeah, we, we understood that. We, know, we knew for what we were signing up. And um, So, I mean, you know, you know, straight relationship, all it takes is, you know, a few minutes. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> with that amount of planning, do you think that it really does change the dynamic about about your relationship with your two children? Um, these guys are going to grow up and they're going to quickly work out that you know the two of us can't produce um, children. Um, they're going to know what's going on and, and uh, we're going to be very upfront with them and, and tell them how they were how they came about, how much they were planned for and loved, and um, how much we were willing to change our lives for them. Um, they're going to know Rachel, they're going to know her family and, and the situation and um, I think that's a wonderful thing. They've got built in you know, siblings to run around with and, and um, wonderful surrogate. Who so Rachel, Rachel is your surrogate. How much um, do you want her to have uh, to be a part of the lives of these two young fellas? Oh, she's already been you know, so uh, influential is just not, not a big enough word um, mm -hmm. without her they wouldn't be here and um, when we met with her we clearly established that um, you know she would have an ongoing role in our lives and in their lives and uh, we're so grateful that she's still wanting to do that um, mm -hmm. and that she's willing to support us it's just been amazing and we wouldn't change anything Tell me, what would you say to other people out there that have that innate sense that they want to have children, they desperately feel that parenting need and that call to, to have a child like this, but they are um, gay people? What would you say to them? I think that they, this, this is the time, these next few weeks and months, that they need to go and speak with their local members of parliament, mm -hmm. get involved, join advocacy groups, make your voice heard. Um, we are a minority, but we are a very loud minority when we want to be. Show the politicians that you're, you're real people, you're a real couple, you do exist, you do vote, and um, this issue is important to you, get involved. And you think that's, that's one of the biggest problems, is that those people that don't understand just don't understand because they don't know, they don't know people like you? That's it. We're not scary, we're not um, a recruitment group, we're just, we're like everyone else, we, we've got the same wants, desires and needs. Yeah. And um, the, the sooner people realise that, that we're not something, something to be feared, we're going to have a quality. We will get there. And you enjoying being a dad? Oh, absolutely. This, this is fantastic. Yeah. This is... But just... when, they, when they cry, when they burp all over you, when they poo their pants, yep. it's all wonderful. Yep, roll your sleeves up, get involved, get, get, it, get it done. It's um, just amazing. We're so lucky that we've got such great kids. Well, I'm lucky to have been able to have a chat to you and... Uh, just have a sneak peek into your life. I think it's wonderful. I take my hat off to you. Congratulations. Thank you.